Oh, okay. We're a Fidget few minutes. Origami. Yeah, we're a few minutes early. Okay. But so you have to make an appointment. Correct. So we're connected, mm -hmm. and when it rolls around, there it goes. See, now we're live, and now the whole internet can see us. Oh, okay. Hi. Can't see me. That's yep. Good. There's a little bit of a latency on it. So oh, okay. on this program, mm -hmm. you can see us in real time. Okay. Well, kind of. It's a little bit of delay, but not mm -hmm. too much. And then on this one. I think it's a seven or ten second delay. Okay, got it. Mm -hmm. um, so that way, if something happens, you could edit it real fast. Okay. You know, if somebody dropped an F bomb, you could. Uh, okay. <laughs> real quick. Oh, okay. <laughs> Do you remember the name of this simple what? Uh, Jeremy Schaefer's. I was a spring into action. Spring into action. find all these darn things. It's my job. Oh. <laughs> That's what I said. I don't have free time. When I get free time, I'm researching social media trends. I don't watch TV. Okay. I don't have time. <laughs> my life is... Oh, so you have a job now? Um... I have a Kuniko. Well, okay. That's right. <laughs> well, we know about that's, Kuniko. That's pretty yeah. plenty because yeah. uh, right now it's just yeah. time yeah. because of the fundraiser. Yeah. Well, my student loans are about to kick in, and if I don't have, uh, if I don't have, oh, why isn't it working? If I don't have income to start paying back those student loans yeah, in about go, two go weeks. Go and uh, shoot our uh, new um, president. No, I shouldn't say that. I'm not <gasps> saying that. I'm not, I didn't say that. I did not say that. Shoot him an email. Yeah. Sh thank you. Shoot him an email. There we are. Technology's moving faster than you're moving. Oh, um, that's probably left over from our last live stream. It'll change once we get started. The, so I can just keep the link, right? Uh, yeah, use, I'm about to change the link. What? Because I told them to go from the Facebook link. Yeah, I'm about to, cha I'm about to change that. Okay. Please do it now because uh, Megan is coming in. Okay. And then, and then after that, uh, super fast, send it to me by the okay. texting. I, I can't. So can I fold my napkin? I said, <laughs> did you ever figure out how to fold these? Mm -hmm. I, I know some. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I did figure it out. Okay. Didn't I? Okay, Steph, go ahead. No, Steph, Steph is right. my... Uh, like a lifesaver. If she, if she's not if she's not with me, I can't do anything. I feel horrible. <laughs> she's she's like a you know the in Japan we say that like a the rope to save you in, oh, from yeah. the ocean. Oh. <laughs> she's a rope. Um. <clears throat> Did you put it down in the 
on Facebook? If you did, I'll take yep. it from Facebook. And I torture her. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> just like that. And she hear me like, <laughs> What did I do here? What did I do here? I really worry about myself too, getting old and I cannot catch up with what's going on. Oh, I don't even try. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute, we gotta be cool. Hold on, we gotta wear the glasses. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm you excited. <laughs> oh, all of them at the same time. Yep, we are up and live and... No, I mean the link on the Facebook. Yes, it's, thing. yep. We have three watching currently. Oh, really? Hello, three viewers. Oh, may, one of them is me. I'm trying to watch. <laughs> Maybe Michelle came on, my daughter. Gotcha. Yes. I have it muted. You don't want the you don't want it on because then they'll hear. We were also recording through the computer, oh, okay. so if the if there's audio coming through the, the speakers, then it's also going into the mic. Oh, okay. So I have it here as well, also muted. So what what I said before was not recording. Right? It was. Let's go back and read it. It's live. Welcome to live TV. <laughs> I'm not showing my face, forget it. <laughs> there she is. <laughs> no, it's fine. Also, it's one of those things that uh, I can cut. I will cut the beginning of this. Um, right now, we only have three viewers. Uh, hello, three viewers. Um, we'll be starting in a few minutes, as per usual. We start at 7.30. We get together and we just do pre-prep, so it's all conversation and everything. Um, this is just set up and everybody understands that the first half hour of most live streams are basically this. You get to see all the wires, all the back ends, uh, oh, okay. people can ask you questions, there's a, there's a, there's a, oh, see someone right here, wow, uh, so, oh, actually we're not at the studio, we'll be explaining this in a few minutes, we're actually here at, uh, Miss Mary, over here. She's lent us her um, her living room, her lovely living room. Um, our studio is under construction currently, and our floor is wet, so we're unable to get in there. Um, the chemicals that they're using are too harsh for us to breathe, so we're here. So that's kind of how it works. Oh, okay. That's kind of how it works. Oh, uh, yes. Isn't that fun? It says, hi, Miss Mary. <laughs> <laughs> now, what if that's you I said? Yeah. So it's pretty fun, right? Mm -hmm. And it can get pretty crazy. Like, this is a, this is a pretty small um, group. Last time, I think our maximum was eight or nine oh, okay. in a room. Mm -hmm. But I can show you after... After okay. the uh, hi, Yasu. <laughs> I see, I knew it. <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> yeah. But I can show you after uh, mm -hmm. this, after we do this, mm -hmm. there are streams that have thousands of people on them, and the chat just goes and goes and goes. Wow, and goes and goes. it's really fun. It's it, there, there's say fun, I say challenging. Well, I mean, they're fun to be a part of. Because it's part of it's it's that community, you know. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just somebody will play a game, or or, oh, okay. or they'll 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 do be doing a tutorial or something. Okay. And if anybody has any problems, you know, it's just oh, it's basically you know raise your hand and ask. Mm -hmm. But you had the anonymity of the internet, so you don't feel stupid to ask the question. Okay. Everybody knows it's you. Mm -hmm. So it's really, really great, really great tools, mm -hmm. great okay. resource. Mm -hmm. 
I'm trying to make sure I got the origami fold correct for uh, one of our toys tonight. And you know, the, um, we should explain a little bit of a fidget toy, a little bit, just in case some people are not familiar with it. Okay. Yeah. We can do that. We're getting up on our time, so it's uh, 7.36 right now. Okay. Of ourselves. Okay. Although we had a, such a, a tough time to get ready, we are making it. <laughs> Well, you're responsible too. You're the origami master over here. I am responsible to beg people to do this for me. <laughs> that was a concert we went to oh, okay. last night. Yeah, we last went night? to. Oh, yeah, nice. I'll tell you about it. After the live stream, oh, okay. this is an all ages show. This is not. Uh, <laughs> here in Sarasota? Uh, we drove to Orlando. Oh, Memphis or something. Yeah. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, it was crazier and there was more people. It's a, he's a YouTuber. Okay. He makes music on the internet. He's uh, had a few, well, they, they've had a, f a few albums and stuff that, mm -hmm. that has come out. But, um, they're just YouTubers, mm -hmm. but they filled a theater with 3,000 people in Orlando. Wow. And then they've been, they've had filled shows, uh, the entire tour. The first, we were the last leg of the first leg, the last concert of the first leg. Wow. And, um, it was mayhem, but like in a good way, because they're a comedy band. They're, oh, they're, okay. they're funny. Okay. They're like a fake 80s hair band, you know, like, um, like, a um, Rolling Stones type, tight spandex, okay. long fluffy hair, mm -hmm. all the leopard prints, and you know, so attractive. Type. What is she doing? Great. What are you doing? I am just trying to inform my friends we're going to okay. be doing this live stream. <laughs> it's such a la last minute. 
Oh, last minute. Might want to join us, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, no, Judy's not on her computer. I won't tell you that, but you can send it to her. <laughs> they may even be out eating. Who knows? <laughs> So can they see what you're doing? Uh, they will once they're done. Because I want to show them how to make it. So oh, it's, okay. our, it's our first origami. Oh, okay. so, so I was just kind of okay. trying to do it on the, okay. on the ground. Okay. Sorry about the uh, unintendedness. Because I can't see it on, on my TV. Yep. I mean, on you, my computer. Yeah. So you will get to see it eventually. Oh. It looks like that, but it's done. Okay. But. And how is it live? <laughs> oh, it is live. Oh, so okay. uh, go back on your, go to the Origami Air Facebook. Mm -hmm. I just posted this link. Follow okay. that link. Okay, got it. And we're almost ready to start. Did you do chilling? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right, cool. And we're all set up and running and ready to go. Okay. Are you going to start? The, I'm going to say hi from here. No, okay. Because I am still, still just uh, uh, looking around <laughs> some uh, some paper. Anyway, uh, today I'm so excited to show Stephanie's um, action origami that she came up with. She had a basic folding pattern, but um, she um, made it into some kind of push, pull, push, pull, like a, a fidget toy with the buttons. Is that right? Yeah it's, yeah, it's more like the, if you've ever seen the fidget cube, um, it's kind of the concept of the joystick where you can kind of rotate it around with your thumb or with, with two fingers. Um, you can kind of pluck it a little bit. You'll get to see it in just a few minutes. Yeah, and then uh, we, we, we kind of wanted to show you a bunch of the models and then vote, but uh, somehow our pre preparation didn't catch up. So uh, we are... Uh, uh, going to I I got this from Jeremy Schaefer um, You know his his origami is awesome 
especially the action one. And uh, um, I got the permission to teach this action origami, which is called, what is that called? It's a uh, spring okay. into action. Let me go ahead and. Yeah. So this is his simplified version. Um, the actual spring into action is round. So when you look at it this way, it's much more of a round shape. But this one's a lot easier to make. You could make this one smaller or bigger. And all you do is you pinch it and it makes a little... And then the movement is just... <laughs> this is Miss, for those of you just tuning in, this is Miss Mary in the background. Miss Mary is right here. She's popping in. And then uh, whenever she's ready, um, we're going to have a... Uh, we're gonna this one. Yeah. Uh, we're gonna have a conversation uh, with like Miss Mary. Miss mm -hmm. Mary is a great teaching artist. She's my fellow um, performer. She's a great African American storyteller as well. Uh, we're gonna have uh, some words with her because she's an educator, and maybe we can talk about fidget toy a little bit. All right. So Steph, you gonna. Take it from here, or, or uh, shall we? We show? have a few more minutes, so it's uh, seven forty-seven right now. Oh, so we have um, a few so more we have minutes. Just okay. A few more minutes. I don't want to start before in case exactly. people want exactly. yeah, to so, come in. Um, if you are already there, I uh, shall we show the model so they at least they can vote, or what shall we? Uh, do? sure. We can. I can kind of give them a preview. Yeah. Um. So let me go back to my other what tab here. What shall we wait here. for? The eight o'clock. Let me That's see if we have any questions coming in. Yeah. Um, let's check our chat. We do so not. Right now, mm -hmm. I'm, I'm trying to explain Miss Mary because <laughs> she she was not sure what, what how it works. Yeah, so, so if you would like to <laughs> come in here. Oh, yeah. Come on. So, yeah. so this is this is Miss Mary. This is the person whose uh, living room we are borrowing. Um, she is a teaching artist. So we thought we would take a few minutes to kind of get her opinion on fidgeting in general and how it can help certain children um, to encourage them to fidget in productive or quieter, uh, less distractive ways. So, uh, well, uh, actually, what I, what I do is when I go into the classroom, when I see the kids, I saw them fidgeting with those new uh, items or the, toys, what they mm -hmm. call them. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and what it does is it seems to uh, actually re relax the kids. And our mm -hmm. generation is real multi tasking mm -hmm. and so mm -hmm. I, I think that it's it's a benefit in that it keeps them quiet and a lot of times you don't think they're paying attention but then when I ask them to write something uh, they give me answers back and you you're not thinking they're paying attention so uh, I don't see where it's a distraction whereas you know telephones have been distractions and other things in the classroom Maybe it's distracting the other kids to the point that they don't have it and they're paying attention to it. And them. they want one to. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, that's what's cool about the origami stuff is it doesn't cost you money. You're not feeding a corporation if that's a concern to you. Um, you can make this at home. And being that it's paper, it's usually, even if I put it close, it's this is all of the noise it makes. So unlike the, the fidget cubes and other things that make clicking or clunking plastic sounds, these are... Usually very I quiet. They could see it though. I no, see oh, I was showing. I was showing the one that we oh, okay. did in yeah. um, in the instructional what, video. This was the um, the flexahedron. That was um, uh, last week, right? Like, we yeah. So yeah. we were going to do this one last week, but we had quite a few people that were really anxious to learn it. So I'll link you guys in a second to uh, another video you can watch after the stream. That was the instructions on how to make this. This is really simple. It's three pieces of paper, and they just slide together and fold in on each other. You can kind of, I'll sh kind of show you the construction a little bit if I take it apart. Like, do we have a big one? I have, to show? yeah, but the yeah, this is a bigger one. So here's a much larger one, and here's the seams in the back, and they just kind of unfold like that. If I kind of roll it, it'll just kind of come undone like that. That's all it is. So it's just three pieces and they fit together. Very simple. Yeah, and the wonderful thing about the very satisfying part of this was, uh, do you see that Miss Mary mm -hmm. here? Mm -hmm. That uh, it's, you can do in with your finger 
and I think even me, I, I, I don't think I do fidgeting too much, or um, I'm I'm okay uh, without it. But when I do this, somehow I can just kind of focus, almost like a meditation mm -hmm, in a way. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So I can really, in that case, I can relate to that. Yeah, so if you're interested in the flexahedron, here's the flexahedron link. Yeah. Okay. So, maybe, Miss Mary, you can want, you, you can sit here. Yeah, I'd be like to sit here yeah. when we sit, do the first one. Sit next to If you want to follow yeah. along, you can as well. Yeah. Yes, the yes, star yes, of the show. Yes, 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 yes. Because it's 8 o'clock and we're going to start, we're going to start bolding. Mm -hmm. So, till then, maybe you can keep kind of conversation going, or should I, should I be in it? Uh, yeah, you can go to the back if you'd like. And then you, then you can just kind of do the origami going yourself. Yeah, so you need to scoot into the teen a bit more, mm -hmm. scoot over. There we go. Mm -hmm. There we go, mm -hmm. okay. There's the whole lot of us. <laughs> okay, so, hi so, internet, hello. hello. So okay. anyway, um, what I'm really thinking is that, um, you know, the, for the educator's eye, the every day it's changing. I mean, and then the change has been quite a bit yeah. compared to like a, when, when I was a school kid, mm. um, the, the environment was totally different. I'm not talking about the difference between Japan and the United mm. States. It's just a generation in general. Don't forget it's, to look at the camera. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's totally <laughs> different. <laughs> different. Yeah. And uh, uh, even you and Stephanie and the younger now, let's mm -hmm. say you and third grade today, mm -hmm. is different, right? Yeah, very different. I mean, the fact that this is even being considered as an option is incredible. Um, I was uh, special education. And the fact that I had to have special permission to bring a stress ball to class is kind of absurd. Like, I mean, I feel like there were plenty of people who weren't classified as anything that would have benefited from or benefited from a stress ball. Like, it's, I always thought it was kind of ridiculous. You, you you see a kid twiddling his pencil like this, and it's like, stop it! It's a distraction. And it's like he's not disturbing anybody. And the fact that you know, no one else is paying attention except for the teacher. But these days, uh, Miss Mary, do you mm -hmm. think uh, teachers are more understanding because uh, absolutely it's a generation change and then uh, trying to accept those parts? Uh, that was a what question you, you, sh you should ask me because I'm going to tell you no. Uh, no, be because they're so focused on testing and keeping yeah. everybody um, in line with, with what they uh, want them to learn. Very specific. Yeah, yeah. Um, gotcha. So it becomes even more challenging for the kids to do anything outside of focus on whatever the teacher's teaching at that time. Yeah, and what the government has decided that and it is needs to be tested that, to, yes. mm -hmm. the state yeah. or whatever. Yeah, well, they're, you know, the state test. And, mm -hmm. uh, and the teachers have a lot of uh, pressure, I mean stress, yes, about yes. doing uh, uh, all the curriculum to go to the test so that by the time kids go to the test, kids know everything, kids are taught everything about the test. That's a, it's a lot of pressure mm -hmm. and it's a lot of curriculum to, uh, to digest. And the pressure is on, on the kids too. Yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I mean, th this is all, uh, you know, they are learning, uh, they feel that it's only for the test when they can't really see that, you know, it's, it's lifelong learning. Um, so it is and stressful it, for them also. In a one way, I kind of think, you know, I'm, I'm the generation of the uh, packed and then I am kind of stressed out generation in Japan after the 70s, the 80s and uh, so I'm 80s kid, uh, 70s and 80s kid. Mm -hmm. Our curriculum was enormous. Mm -hmm. that we had to learn so much and Japanese education was like a military almost like. Mm -hmm. and, and then in a way, the good thing was we learned a lot when, when we were kid, and it's not necessary that I didn't like the school because of that. I liked it. I, mm -hmm. I learned a lot. So there's a good part about testing and then doing right. a lot in the school. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that 
it's a change between the generation, you know, from yeah. our generation, your generation, and then now. And it's, it's also a, the fact that you went to a Japanese school, so you were also encouraged at home to go and do those kinds of things. Where yeah. in American school, parents are constantly working, and oh, you got to see that's good enough, or it's you got it. What do you mean you got an F? And then instead of asking why or how it could be helped or trying to encourage something, a change, yeah. it's just you got an F. You're grounded. And the story. There's yeah. no there's no back and forth between parents yeah. and students. Yeah. And then you know kids kids have to learn a lot these days with mm -hmm. the internet because the yeah. information multiple information just goes on and on and on. Yeah. Well I, you I find kids that that go into classes and show their teachers on their smartphones, you know. I've had my little cousins talk about it where they were in class or something and they would bring in their smartphone and go, No, you're wrong and the teacher would get offended, like how dare you tell me that I'm wrong, mm -hmm. you know. Oh really? Yeah. Really? Oh, yeah. I didn't know that. So, uh, Miss Mary, will you go to uh, summer schools and a reading program? We actually need to get started. We're actually over time. Oh, okay. Uh, we're actually. Oh, we're just, just six okay, minutes. No, no. It's okay. No. Okay, we, it's the, so, hi, hello to side. the the ten viewers that okay, are here now. Okay. Switch. Yep. Yep. Switch. Okay. <laughs> and then she's gonna uh, Miss Mary gonna fold my model with me. Uh, <laughs> yes, yes, okay. yes, yes. All right, so I'm just going to give you guys a little bit of a rundown of what's going on. So our studio is under construction. Is under construction. Oh, sorry, um, sorry. Mary. So we can't okay. get okay. in there. Get so in. we've come to Miss Mary, who's over here. We, she's let, she let us borrow her Wi-Fi in her living room so we could do our next live stream. Um, so we're going to be starting with our a simple model. Our simple model is going to be this one here. Um, I kind of came up with this one. It's, it's really just, it's kind of based off of, um, on the fidget cube, if anybody's familiar with the fidget cube, there's a joystick. So this gives you the same action. You can kind of rotate it with your thumb. It moves. Uh, you can move it like that if you wanted to. It's an amazing part is, it's like a spring. Yeah. It goes, let me try that. Let me Go try. ahead. This, I think this is a, such a neat model. Um, the spring I'm talking about is right here. Uh, loop. <laughs> okay, you, this you got it. They, I think they can see it. it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> yeah. Here, let me try to show them with the yellow one. Okay. Go. All right. So this is this is just one another one that I made in in yellow. Angle it down this way. And the action it's interesting. is, is yellow the one same. It's easier to see. I'm going to do it like this. You can see that it twists like that. And it gives you a nice little spring. Kind of hear a little bit of a click when you do it, which is pretty satisfying. If you do it with a thinner paper, it wouldn't click as much. But you, I really do suggest a thicker paper. The thicker your paper, almost a cardstock, the more spring you'll get. You'll see this one kind of unfolding. And it's a thinner paper than this one. Um, but I'm going to kind of show you guys how to do it. So I'll ang angle you guys down and then this let's, way. Uh, let's make sure that uh, paper you choose is like a, a notebook paper is okay? Yeah, so this one was made with um, like, a, like a Bristol type no notebook paper, a little bit thicker. Um, oh, actually, no, I'm sorry. This is a multimedia illustration paper. Um, like a sketchbook type yeah, paper, Yeah, sketchbook right? type yeah, paper, so but, it's a, but it's, it's a little bit thicker. thicker. Yeah, it's yeah. not quite cardstock. Um, this one is a little bit more like a craft paper, um, a little bit more texture to it. It's actually this paper here. Can you hand me the paper here? This is uh, from Kuniko's collection, so... Uh, it's Japanese. Japanese. But, uh, it's it's uh, somewhere between cardstock and a regular and a, size paper. Yeah, and a construction okay. paper. Yeah. So this is kind of the size that you want for this model. So um, this one here is a good size. So you want to start with 14 inches across. It doesn't matter how long it is this way, but you definitely need 14 inches here. And then how long here doesn't matter? Well, it will matter, but because you're going to be cutting the paper. So what okay. you're going to be doing is you're going to be cutting it into a long strip with a thicker end and a thinner end. So now there is a mathematical ratio for this. Um, I won't feed you the math, <laughs> but at 14 inches across, you want about two inches up. So you can go ahead and mark it two inches here and then here as well. 
And then the easiest way to get this is to just fold it at two inches here. So you're just doing the, the two inches strip, the two, two inches by 14? Correct. All the way? Yep, okay. so you're going to do it all the way across. Because that'll give you the ratio that you want. So what if people don't have 14 inches? Uh, you can make smaller ones. So the original model, I should probably um, so then say this. Let's say Let me get my notes here. The regular paper is like an eight and a half by eleven, right? So yeah, uh, you can make it a couple any size that you want. Um, this one, this one I made, I didn't measure it. So this was actually made out of just wrapping paper. So they can they can use a wrap, wrapping paper too. Correct. So uh, and then you know the, the thing about origami is you can use scrap paper or you can you can just try different paper. Yeah. yeah. So that's it's, good for the recycle. Correct. Yeah. Um. The 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 angle will differ. The 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 twists that you get will differ, uh, based on the angle. So a trial and error is is key here. Um. So like. Okay. All right. So then the. the but I do. I did want to. I did want to say that. Um, I got these instructions. It's based off of um, Asia Rills. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's her square curly cue uh, design. Um, this was her uh, original fold. It's a flat fold. It folds flat and has many, many more layers. And the original design is actually hundreds of inches. And it's a big square. The base, the bottom base, is a huge square. And as you spin it, you spin it with your whole hand. And all I did was scale it down and fold it up so that way you could play with it with one hand. Okay. So the, and you also made the, a very small one. A strip is, I think I got, got the smaller. idea that the ratio doesn't really matter. If it's just a strip, as long as it's a strip. Is yeah. Right? Okay. So um, it matters a little bit, but it's... It's, it's a trial and error thing. So there is math to it, but... Uh, so if you really want a photo uh, exact, the 2 by 14, and then if you don't have the 14... Scissors. Sorry about that. Yeah. To oh, be in I the yellow it. box. Yeah, here. Why is the blue scissors thing? Oh. They were on the counter. Oh, no. Steph! We're a little disconnected. Okay. There they are. Oh, I okay. knew I'd put them back in the okay. bucket. I'm going to have to be the surgeon over here. <laughs> <laughs> So anyway, what I was trying to kind of help uh, the idea of the set. So, so go ahead, is that uh, if it's a uh, this this is typical origami. If the size, let's say two by fourteen, I don't have it, but it's only eight and a half by eleven, which is a letter size paper. When it happens, like she said, it doesn't have to be absolutely mathematical for this one. This one is kind of forgiving on the side. So 11 by one and a half inch. Let's, let's do that. Yeah. So that should work. The, the thing that's going to make it vary is the angle of your, your slant. So this one, as you, if, if you look really closely, I didn't cut it at all. Like I didn't measure it. So I cut it straight across and I was like, yeah, that's about right. And then when I folded, when I cut the angle, okay, I'll from, cut it for you. When I cut from so you this just, side you just to this, cut this side? from here to yeah, there, from, right? Diagonal, so right? You cut. You now cut it in a diagonal from okay. this corner to the opposite bottom corner. Got it. So do we have to fold it? Oh, uh, that's first? the easiest way to do it is to fold so, it okay. first. This was so this paper was a little hard to fold. Yeah. I'm but not, in not. the end, you'll have a yeah. fourteen-inch long yeah. piece like this. Yeah. Like that. Um, while she's doing that, like I was saying, so being that this slant was uneven, the pieces that I got were varying of sizes. You can see that it's not a perfect, this is way bigger than, there's a much more space between here and here. Well, in this one, uh, I did a, it, I, this was an attempt that was a failure. I tried to do it this way inside so you could do it here. But it's not quite as enjoyable. A little harder to... It doesn't stay together as well. But um, this one I actually did properly. And each piece is equally uh, down if you're, if you're um, 
familiar with the golden ratio, that's what you're trying to achieve. That's the okay. that's the math of the of the angle. So I got these two strips. Uh, like that. Yep, you got it. Okay. okay. So now the next thing that we're gonna do. So you wanna try it? Okay. So let me see how it is. Let me yeah. show you guys. Yeah. So now what you're gonna do is you have your angle. You're gonna take this corner, and you're gonna fold it so that way this line is even with the top. So let me do it on the table so that I can get my fold right. And I'll show so you. So he has a right angle, right? Yeah. Steph. So yep. from here. From here. You're just. So the, it starts from the bottom yep. right angle. Yep. And, and you're gonna fold that? it up like that. Oh, uh, okay. So you'll have this. These are my hands. <laughs> <laughs> no, you should come in. No, I'm fine. Thank you. I'll be the side folder. <laughs> the side folder. Perfect. Okay. Okay, so then after... Maybe Miss Mary can show this at the uh, summer school. Yes. You're yeah. thinking that. Yeah. Yeah. She's doing the uh, summer school program. We can talk about that a little bit later. A little later. bit later. Okay. Yeah, because so because once we get folding, it's going to be a little bit tedious. So oh, you guys can have no. a little bit. And not, not you're just repeating the same fold a few times. Okay, all right. All right, so once you have this, you're going to take this end, and you're going to fold it right parallel. So I'll show you. I'm going to do it down here. That way I can get my fold right. Oh. And you want it to touch. You want it to be pretty tight. I have no clue your orientation. Okay. So which one is what? So, yeah, I'm just going to show you. So, um, your first yeah. fold, okay. this was here. Uh, this is your first fold. And then all you're doing is you're lining up this bottom line oh, okay, good, with good, this yeah. line here. So, this it is goes the bottom line. This is a 90 up. degree angle. Correct. And then that goes up. Yep. And then this one actually goes up, huh? Yep, like okay. that. So, now you should have like okay. a little giraffe head. Okay, got it. <laughs> but got upside it. down. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right. Now you're just going to kind of repeat this folding pattern over and over again. On the same side, though? Yep. So, How so, does this go? So now you have this way. Yeah. Boop. 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 And then? And then this way. So that goes to, so that becomes a mountain fold. Right. right? Oh, so it always goes up then. The fold yep. always goes yeah. up. Okay. Yep. So that oh, I'm I'm actually sorry. It goes this way. Wait a minute. Uh, wait, 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 wait. Where is it? Here you have it. Yeah. No, I I, I got it wrong. So did I do it right? Ah, oh, so this. Oh, so it look should look like a square. Yeah. So let me just leave a few folds so that way I can show you because it's hard to fold it. Um, because it's such a thick paper, I can't just fold it. So I'll show it to you straight. I'm not sure the direction of Okay, it. so this is this is flat. Yeah. Okay. The way is a 90 degree angle. Okay. Is, is that right here? Yep. So you're gonna fold it like that. Okay. Yeah. And then goes. And to you're gonna the, fold it yeah, up. I got straight that. up. Yep. Okay. And then you're gonna fold it back flat like that. Back flat that. This way. way. Okay. Okay. And then you're gonna fold it down. Down. Along this angle here. And then you're gonna do this wait, angle. Wait, 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 wait. So from here. Where, where is the line? Okay. Oh, oh, you match to the bottom? Yep, you're just matching to the next line. So the next line. Doop, boop, and then you match horizontal, and then you match vertical, match vertical, and then you match horizontal, and then you match vertical. I can't do that, but I'm set it in the air. You know, am I the... Miss Mary got it. I don't get it, Steph. From here, from here. What do I? I got this. Up. Here, I'm gonna. I'm actually gonna put the 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 computer on top of the fold so that you can you can kind of see it. So the, I know this far. I I got it. And then. Show show me from here. Okay. So if you put it down flat on the table. Uh, Miss Mary, can you actually hold the laptop for me? Oh, okay. So kind of pulled it like that. Okay. Perfect. Okay. You should have used uh, one side white. Yeah, okay. it's a lot easier when you have another side. So you're going to take your angle. 
and fold it flat so that way it matches horizontal. Uh -huh. But mm. wait, this is a 90 degree angle right here, Correct. right? Correct. So this yeah. is your 90 degree. So this is okay. your this is what you're matching. Okay. So now you're going to match that fold uh -huh. here, right? And you're going to match that fold here, right? And you're going to match that fold. Now it's going to so go it, horizontal. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Like that. And okay. you just keep going and now you match the vertical. Okay. Okay, I, I got it, I got it. So and then, on and so forth. So then... So it looks so like so. this. So you are not flipping? No. Not yet. We are going to flip it. Yeah. You're in. <laughs> Am I in? Yep. Okay. So then... You are not flipping? No. We will be flipping it. I'll show you that in a second. Yeah. Uh, for those who you are ready for the next step, you can well, go... Wait, 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 wait for me. Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> wait for me. Okay. So I got this. And then how far do I go? Uh, you want three to four. So one, two, three. If you wanted to do four, you can. You are counting the layer. One, yes. two, three. Yes? Right, correct. And then one more right there. Four... And then, and then, and you're, you're counting. So, so for, for what I'm saying is, so this is, I'm counting from up here. One, so it's one, two, two, three. And then I've created a little half fourth one. So this is kind of, this is the best way to do it. Three is the, is the best. I, why do I have so many, not so many left? Uh, you can keep going. Go. Oh, I see. And so you have to really, really keep going. Yep. Now, to make the flat one, uh -huh. you would just keep going until the very end. But to make the fidget, you uh -huh. want to stop it like, like I said. So there's like four there. Okay. So one, there's the top that uh -huh. we started with. Uh -huh. One, two, three, four. And that's that. You can just stop there. Hold okay. it one okay. more time, but hold okay. on to that. Okay. okay. Go ahead and put that okay. back down. Okay. Back. And I'm gonna check. The comments okay. to see if everybody else is folding along with us. Yeah. I hope I was the only only one got confused. <laughs> <laughs> but that's that's really cool to get to. Did you get them, Mary? Uh, I I I got once yeah, I yeah yeah once I, I stopped I I get confused. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I think this is. Kind of cool to do it with the kids in the summer program. Oh, yeah. Mary has been doing it for the uh, for libraries. Oh uh, no, no, youth centers. Youth centers. Youth centers. Of such yeah. as. Uh, such as Robert Taylor Center. Uh huh. And Boys and girls clubs. Uh huh. Okay, and um, Palmetto Youth Center. Youth Center. Mm -hmm. And then they were doing, it's, they were like a YMCA a little bit during the summer camp. But I think, yeah. And they were like a K through 12s. Yes. Right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then those kids love origami, don't they? When oh, I, all when the, I especially the boys. They, they, so it says to me that they really do have scientific minds. We, we just don't give them credit for it. Yeah. yeah. And then just like you said, Give, give them more chance and credit. Okay, mm. step is ready. All right, now. so okay. for the next step, uh, you're just going to kind of clean it up a little bit. So now we have these squares. Sorry about the light. It's a little bright. I would have hoped. Um, let me bring it down. Uh, I can unscrew a light bulb. <laughs> oh, my gosh. No, I think that's okay. Um, so you have this little bit of a corner. You just want to line it up the best that you can here and even it off. So at the very end, so you have to kind of run out of the end piece, yep, right? So once you, away. yep. So once you got so four, take your scissors. Oh, you guys got the scissors. scissors. Yes. Here you go. And just snip whatever leftover you have after you have four. You have to snip it. You don't have to tuck it in. Nope. You just snip okay. it off. Okay. So am I enough here? Yep. Or should I go more? Nope. That's good. One, two, three, four. So yeah, snip it right there. Right there. So, um, so I did. So one, this is two, how much three, I got, four. and I'm gonna snip this little one. I'm just kind of guessing right here, right, Steph? Yep. Okay. Right along that line. Okay. 
right along that the next it would be the next um like overlapping line so if you're folding up okay. it would be the next horizontal line okay. or if it would if you're going to do horizontal it would be the next vertical line mm -hmm. all right so now comes kind of the tricky part so you should have at the very bottom kind of this shape looks like that that's kind of your bottom uh so the, let's do the orientation i have this okay. end piece right is, is that what you're saying yeah so this one is bottom okay Okay. Oh, no, it's not the bottom. No, it's this is way. this is this is the bottom. Okay. So it it opens up all the way. Okay. So now what you're gonna do is you're gonna tuck it under and backwards. So I'll do it sideways so you can kind of follow. You're gonna tuck. You're gonna pull all of this kind of behind it, like that. So this one goes. Like Wait that. a minute! It doesn't go that way. Oh, 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 so you have this, and it goes kind of behind and flips up, like that. No, like I, I don't get it, Steph. So, if you go this way, okay, you're going to take it, uh -huh. these layers, you, have, you still have the, 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 the base, that's this open up piece, keep that together, open this up flat. So, you have to open this one one here so th this is a key to it from here open okay so I got and then it far. goes behind like that so this is the fold that you've made and it's just gonna go behind mm, okay got it so I got it all right let me get a second for the stream to catch up to see if anybody had any questions about that? I'm stuck though. It doesn't go behind it. <laughs> okay. All right. We're See, I, I claim origami teacher, and then I don't get it. See, now I now I feel the I can't student's help pain. It. I can't help oh, you. Man. Oh, gosh. Mine worked. Yeah, you worked. Mine doesn't. You know, my like, work. Whenever my student says, mine doesn't work, and I go, like, why you can't get it? Okay, good, 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 good. But now I'm the one. I really want to know I'm the only one who couldn't get it. And that would be a great you ego have a buster. Very, so she ended up with a very extreme corner. So you can see that mine is a little bit more um, unified. So this is the one that I did. See how it's kind of unified? And see how hers has a very large difference between her little squares and her big squares? Well, mine does too, but it went behind. I don't know why. Mm -hmm. Like that. But when you tuck it in, it doesn't mm. stay. No, that's fine. Because you're going to tuck it in, we're going to make okay. it go. So it's just like that. Okay. Okay. Because now what we're going to do is you follow the same pattern you just creased, but underneath. So now you have this and you tuck it underneath. Ah, uh, okay. And you kind of unfold it and roll it out as you go. Let me do yours. So from here, so that's that's what she got, mm -hmm. right? So and now you're almost kind of refolding it by tucking everything backwards. Ooh, that's hard to do in my brain towards the camera. Yeah, the towards the camera is not easy. And then from here, where do I go? Tucking into oh 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 this way. Oh oh. So you are just like a doing all backwards yep so you're a, just kind of yep and tucking it remember to tuck it underneath so the the you're tucking you're tucking everything underneath itself and then the next fold is underneath itself. oh this is cool this is cool Steph well, don't thank me. This this part, everything that we've done so far has not been my design. Oh, okay. Everything thus far has, has been... Has been, yeah. yes. Um, exactly. So, 
and you then, just twist it all the way of to course, the end. The in you know, the idea and the folding pattern is from Asika and but this one is the um what is the Japanese uh, traditional um purse called a tato? I think it's called a tato. If I uh if anybody know what I'm talking about, please pitch in. Maybe some origami folding origami artist might know. This movement is similar to reminds me of some some model. I'm just gonna I wanna unfold this one over here to kinda give you the your a, a comparison between your beginning result and your end result. Okay. Did you go all the way, Mary? So oh, yeah, this is weird. the model that we started with before we flipped <laughs> it over. So as you can see, if you'd grab the top of it, it kind of all comes undone, just like a spring. After you flipped it, the step that we just did, if you pull on the top, everything's locked. It stays together. Okay, mine didn't yeah. lock. Yours didn't lock. No, it didn't lock. I, I think I somehow managed it, if I can see. All right, let me check any comments. If anybody has any comments or questions or if you're having any troubles at all folding it, feel free to ask questions. Uh, no judging. Our origami master over here who has folded oh. complicated things like this. Oh. You're just going to keep going. This is an origami firework. This is amazing. And eventually we will get to uh, show you some of this live stream. Okay. So... From here, this one goes tucked up. It's almost like a roaring at end. At yeah, end. so it's just you're folding it behind. Yeah. And then you, you have this part done. Right. So oh, well, that's right. Oh, that. oh, yeah. So unless you unfold it, you can't keep moving here. Oh, okay. I, yeah. I think you got the idea, right? So no, it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, you, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. I, I it's fine. I think this is a good one to do it in person also because then you can just grab and show it to Correct. the people. And then I think, you know, okay. this uh, live stream is wonderful and uh, I think I can. Yeah. And and long, once long. you, exactly. once you have it mm -hmm. here, okay. it should be, you should be able to move it. You should be able to rotate it in your hand. You should be able to flick some of these and see them rotate. And that's going to be key to the next step. So you will make it like a three-dimensional? Yep. Is that what it is? So now what you're doing is you want it to be stable. Because right now, if you tried to spin it in one hand, it's so flimsy because it's flat that it kind of folds. So to make it less flimsy, you take this, and you twist all of the layers. Now, the more you twist it, twist to, the... To which way, though? Uh, you could only twist it one way. So if you try to twist it the other way, you'll notice that you, you can't. It kind of stops you. So you twist it towards oh. the way that's letting you twist Letting it. you twist? Correct. Okay. okay. So just keep twisting it, and as you twist it, you'll see it kind of become a triangle. You'll see the bottom kind of hit that bottom like that. So upside down it looks like. Oh, so finally it becomes triangle? Correct. Is it? Okay. Yep. There you go. Oh cool. Okay. Alright. And then we will tuck it in? Yep. So okay. now a um, couple different ways you can tuck it in. Um, with the other model I actually cut here. So now you have this extra flap here. I actually cut it off. You go ahead. So now you have um, so straight. Now I'm going to open the inside, inside of here. Mm -hmm. So yep. So that last leg. Yep. That mm -hmm. last. Oh, the, it was. It was the very first fold that we made. You're cutting off that end piece. Now, the best way that I've found to do it is you now have three corners. Mm. One, oh, one, two, and three. Mm -hmm. And if you hold it this way, mm 
you're going to fold it up like that, all the way across. So the motion is, once you have it in the triangle, you're going to fold it up. Now I'll show you guys. Mm -hmm. okay. I think I got it from here, the bottom. Yep. The very, very bottom. So this, and this then that goes, it, that covers it it goes on top of it. Yeah, so okay. you'll you'll pull it out because okay. if you have if you if it covers up like yeah, it does here, if it covers up, see how it covers up uh, that one. Okay. Go ahead, flip it out. You can fold it again if you want to. You can kind of fold it down a little bit more because you don't want it to inhibit the motion. Wow, this is fun. It's just clicks. Yeah. Mine is a little. Uh, too too tight, I guess. But uh, gotcha. it still ah. it's a spring. Yeah, and mine's a little loose here. I may have cut the angle a little bit wrong because my top one isn't staying down. Oh nope, there it goes. Okay, so once you have this shape, you'll see there's a little pocket there. You can just tuck it into. Oh, that's brilliant. Where where do you tuck it pocket. in? Ah, that's so brilliant. I yeah. like those ideas. So. Is, you see yeah, the pocket? It goes this way. It's right here. And there's a little you pocket. Little and you just tuck it into the pocket. In Haha. And now it it's locked. Yep. Right? And you might have a little bit extra over here. On this side. You can fold that and tuck it into that pocket if you like. Oh, mine isn't long enough this time. But now, get in there. There you go. Okay, how come yours is like a pyramid, but that mine is more like. I think it has. A lot to do with the fact that your angle was so extreme. Okay. Um, like I said, you may want to trial and error some of the um, some of the uh, the lines. Trying to get it so it's not quite as shiny. Sorry, the lighting is directly underneath of us. Okay. Then maybe you sh do you wanna check? I'm gonna adjust the light, and you wanna check the message. Okay. So at this point, you can hold it in one hand, Sorry. and it'll spin. What if or at I least three yeah. and turn this one on? How, how is it? I thought it was these up here. Yeah, yeah it's, it's 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 that one. Going. It's the one over It's on this top. one up here. Yeah, so turn that one on. Try, Try turning that, that one on. on. Yeah, all the way. Sure. Okay. Turn this on. Yep, turn. Did that work? All right, let me take a look. I don't think so. Either. No. Right. Okay, can you turn bring that, that closer? Yeah. yeah. And you can do. That's the longest one. There. You can do like this. Yeah, actually, that's. I think that's better. Is it? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Otherwise, I'll turn on this stage. Uh, uh, let's let's. Uh, so I'm gonna turn, turn this light on over here too. Mm. Oh, okay. <laughs> it's too much light. They're they're remodeling my whole house. <laughs> <laughs> so, is there any question? on on this anybody did you see that i yeah. have to learn how Take to see this uh it's okay huh mm-hmm looks like we're pretty good okay i'm gonna go watch this <laughs> okay this is miss mary's first live stream she's very excited yeah. <laughs> <coughs> all right and we're actually right on time 8 30 for so our second, second one for our okay. second model. So we're gonna skip the commentary, mm -hmm. um, and we're gonna go right into. It's a lot of fun. Sorry. Okay. Uh, go you, right into our second. Because 
I need to... Uh, do you want to call a vote, vote, or do you want to just go ahead and do this one? Uh, if you want to do the vote... Yeah, okay. Um, Alright, so what we're going to do is we're going to start in a few minutes, but we're going to vote on which ones you want to do. So the first one that we have here is, let's bring it to action, which is this one here. If you squeeze it here. Can't find it. Like. Oh, there it is. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> and it just pops up and down from this side. And this is called the spring into action. You can also be done holding the ends that way. We have the origami bracelet here, which is similar to the firework. Um, it and that is like based that. on the mass box. And it can rotate. And that's a unit origami. Can you count how many units I have? Oh, like, yeah, yeah. you can tell. Oh, okay. Yeah. Uh, two, four, six, eight. Oh, you have nine here, actually. So she has nine pieces. And All right. So this is the origami bracelet. And then lastly, we have the origami firework. Um, this one, we wouldn't show you the whole thing. Um, we would show you how to fold the individual origami units and show you how they slip together. But this is what the final project would look like. So we have the origami firework here, origami bracelet, and the spring I can't do it. There it goes. Spring into action. I like this one a lot. And again, thanks to Jeremy Schaefer. Um, he'll be coming to Sarasota. Um, to Origami Air. Uh, to, to the Origami Air uh, studio. Uh, it's uh, going to be... Uh, we haven't set the schedule up. Okay. Um, we haven't set the schedule yet, uh, but... Uh, the, it, he's going to be the one of the lineup. Uh, he, and he's going to be one of our first, correct? Uh, not, not, not necessary. Mm -hmm. we, we are looking at uh, uh, Mr. Robert, Robert Lang and uh, uh, Michael Lafaz and Jeremy Schaefer. Mm -hmm. And I am contacting some other artists. Uh, so my wish list goes on and on. <laughs> and those are my uh, very my favorite artist and uh, you know when i say my favorite it's kind of a selfish way to say oh sh just i'm gonna no they were like everybody's favorite so i i like at least i like to think uh so i'm excited about it and uh jeremy has a great origami um youtube channel youtube channel he's, he's um, fantastic he's a yeah. lot of fun mm -hmm. he's, he's got so much energy yeah, yeah. Uh, and then if you go to the YouTube, and then if you just type in his name... Actually, Jeremy I'm going to go Schaefer. ahead and send you guys send the link to his channel. Yeah. Thanks again, Jeremy, for letting us use your um, origami patterns. This is fantastic. It's a lot of fun. I would love to... Um, of course, you made a big one because we're going to be showing it to you guys. But a small one, you could totally make this real small and just play with it. It would. Mm -hmm. oh, it's going to be great. Mm -hmm. So let me go ahead... I got it right here. I can't do this without Steph. I'm so incapable. No. I can't live without you. No, I want to live without you. I am crying. Yes, let me make sure I spelled it right. <coughs> Are we getting 
any uh, response about what they want to do? Uh, no, so, uh, so... Because Steph really want to do this one, huh? The Jeremy's design? Yeah, just give it a few more minutes, see if we got anybody. Um, for those who don't know how to chat with us, um, on the side of your video you should see a chat box. If you don't see it, there should be a little, um, it should be, it, just, it should say uh, live chat. Uh, click on the dots and it should bring it down. If you're watching the video larger screen, um, it might be underneath, so if you scroll up, uh, underneath the video could be your chat, and it could be the same way where you have it'll say live chat in a little box. How about the iPad user? Do they? The, because I got comment that uh, uh, from the iPad. From the iPad? Yeah, they could. They didn't see the chat. Okay. Uh, um, do you have your iPad handy, real fast? Uh, yeah. Oh, so we have one vote for um the sp the spring one. It's uh, -huh. uh the spring into action. Uh -huh. Uh, we're gonna go. Uh, we're gonna start actually uh, in a few minutes, so we're, we'll give it two more minutes. So 37, uh, 39, 39, We'll uh, we'll start folding our next uh, piece. Okay. In the meanwhile, you wanna check the iPad. Um, uh, so go ahead and go to our. It's YouTube. not on the Wi-Fi right now. Oh no. Yeah. So maybe I'll do the hotspot. Hang on. Uh, I had her. Because there's a, there's a, um, what am I going to say, um, password, right? Because mine doesn't need a password. Because you are already on. It's on. I should be able to get that. That should be pretty good. I got it, I got it. We need to cancel it and do it. I don't, we have quite a few um, responses for spring. We have one okay. from Robin Radio, uh, Envious Evil, uh, Megan Hicks, and Miss Sorry for the Spam. So, is there any iPad user? Oh, that's right. Uh, they wouldn't be able to comment. They get the so comment. Okay, so that, we'll that. we'll we'll play with this uh, later and see what we can find. Okay, okay. So we're gonna just go for it. Yeah. Okay. Gotcha. So now, uh, my iPad is on. So if you wanna just kind of check it out, Steph. Yeah. And then I will start it. All right. Well, uh, I I just said thirty nine. Oh, it's thirty nine now. Yeah. Okay. So but, go uh, ahead and we'll uh, find the clean your area. We'll switch places. Yeah. I'm gonna talk about the paper. This one. Um, Go ahead and front and center. Yeah. Lord yes. and Master of Origami Air. Yeah. Here we go. <laughs> Hello. This model is like a, my hand's size. This comes from 11 inches square. Uh, so that was uh, pretty big. And this one, this, this paper, it's hard to tell. Uh, it's 10 inches, 10 inches work, and you will have, if you have a 10 inches square, you will make similar size, just like uh, in, in your hand. And I think six inches work okay. Six inches uh, kami paper is kind of uh, too soft to me, but uh, if that is handy. If you have a little thicker, than notebook paper, kami paper, or the wrapping paper. Uh, you don't have to go as, uh, you don't have to go to the, like a card mm -hmm. A card stock. stock. It's, yeah, it's yeah. not quite as thick as a card stock. No. Um, and uh, what I have about is About like the a, same, we actually use the same paper um, for this model, the yellow one that we just folded, that we're gonna use for this one. Yeah, and it's something like a scrap paper that you kind of, buy at the art supply store, like a Michael's, um, you can use that it, because these are a little thicker. I'm going to wait for you guys to find the paper just a little bit and um, we will start.
Miss Mary, would you like to do that uh, another model with me? She's talking with her uh, daughters, I think. And if you have a ruler, that helps. Um, you're going to need the scissors as well. From here, if I fold, you see a very mathematical pattern. This is like a, if you unfold it, it's almost like a candy wrap. And surprisingly, the creasing pattern is quite simple. Like that. But if you want to see it sideways. Is the yellow better to see it? Uh, I think the white is pretty good. Let me see the reflection. Yeah, the yellow is nice. Yeah. So, did you notice? It's a rectangle. Yeah. But you start out. From square. This is how. This rectangle is 3 by 4. Yes? So, um, fold in half to rectangle. Then open. Now you will do the book fold. So like you make it into a double door from left and then from right. You fold it to the, the center. Let me show that. Open it. Oh. It's okay, Steph. I think is that better? I think. Yeah, rather. So, from the to the center crease, and move it closer. Same thing to the center. When you open up, you have four strips, one, one long rectangle, second one, and then third, and fourth. So these are the four, di uh, the one divided in four. Cut one strip. You will make into the force first. Mm. Might have. I shouldn't have made a big crease like that. Uh, I might have a 
little chunk over here. I should have just pinched it. Yeah. And we will do the book fold again. And for this model, you really need a sharp crease. Especially when you are using the thicker paper. Okay. Then when you open it, uh, you made a one, two, three, fours. Sorry, there's a previous crease here. Shouldn't be there. If we can keep moving on from here, from the long side, fold it in half. Yeah. And then you will fold it again. To the center, can you see? And do the same thing. So there's a one, two, so one, two, three, four. There's a body fold, second one, and the third one. Mm. From here, the ruler works handy. Uh, actually, we have to. This is a body fold. Body fold is like a V, V fold from the side, folding away from you, making the dent. But we are going to make the body fold the other way. So we are going to make the diagonal fold. These are the body fold, and this diagonal fold is a mountain fold. So what's going to happen is right here, flip and diagonal fold am I confusing you diagonal fold all has to go the corner to corner and I find it it's pretty difficult to do it automatically so I use the ruler, put it right there, and that helps the line. And when you do that, this intersection Is on the edge. You have another intersection of the rectangle is right here and here's another intersection. So this is very um, geometric shape uh, right here and then you unfold that. You will make the parallel of the half. So you will make the half here. Right here. Like that. So actually those one, two, three 
rectangle you are crossing it. That will be the half of the diagonal from here, this this little corner to up to the very center crease you made, but it's got to be parallel. Parallel. Thank you. <laughs> I'm not gonna even try to say it. Say it again. Parallel. Parallel. Okay. Very good. Parallel. You got it. Yeah. Parallel. Pa parallel. It's another syllable. Parallel. Parallel. Yeah, it's better. Okay. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. And then from here, you will do the another little one. This time, you will hold it to here. And then this one is crossing, crossing this rectangle. Mm -hmm. So it's right here. Okay. What we are doing for is right here. The yellow size. Oh, yeah. Here. Yeah. Right here. The one one direction of the diagonal to every rectangle. So we did this one here, two here, and you will do the a half between here and there. This time, you can just tell where it is by, by seeing the pattern from this intersection to this dot, intersection, intersection, and intersection here. And then basically, This half is done. And repeat the same pattern from the other side. And again, you really need a tight crease. And you will do the opposite way. 180 degree angle <coughs> from the bottom to the very center diagonal line and when you do it the key is the intersection right here and I don't think you can see it but I can show you by putting my ruler this is a this is a creasing line This rectangle and this is a crossing line diagonal. I think you see the pattern. And small one, ha half of this, so focus on this rectangle and diagonal. Can we check can we check uh, if there's any question about this part? Yes. Um, no, it looks like we're Are we good. okay? Are we okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Please let me know if I'm not if I am not uh, showing you good or if you have uh, any question so you made this pattern or the diagonal you that's it one one way we are not gonna do the second way go, going cross no. and these are all 
body. And now those uh, rectangle line is all So this is a mountain, mountain, mountain. Yeah. And then go ahead to photo the. Now we are going to collapse. And the idea is a little similar to what. Uh, it's kind of difficult. So let me. Do it on my. On the top, sorry, I'm having a little trouble. Because of the angle, I'm not sure. Maybe I'm gonna move it kind of to the side. You know, actually, I think I'm gonna show this way so that it's a little easier to show. I, I have to work on it just a little bit. Can you just take it for just a few minutes? All right. Let me work on it just a minute. Having some technical yeah. origami technical issues. Technical issues. So what are you trying to can you kind of talk us through how this is supposed to fold it's in a, on itself? Yeah, it's a collapse. And then it's a simple collapse. But I was just kind of looking at it so much upside down. And oh, then, that you got yourself confused because yeah, it got, was upside I got, down. Yeah. Oh, I got gotcha. I keep looking at it, and then yeah, I it's, got... It's, it's really hard when you're, you're used to folding it, you know, towards you, and this is the way you're doing it, and now you're trying to fold it completely opposite, upside down. Yeah. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. Um, so, what you do is from here... Okay, hold up. We're going to go back to Kuniko. Yeah. Start from the corner and another one. The uh, how should I show? Can I show? And then the keep folding the triangles, and then eventually you get to it's like a little bit like a star, yeah, but just on the top, and then maybe keep kind of following the um, collapse of the next one, next uh, valley. Oh, yeah. I got gotcha. you. You got it. Okay, yeah. so it's actually a similar direction, yeah. bold to the, what we were doing before with mm -hmm. our other simple one. So it's like this, and then the next, uh, the next angle folds. in on itself and then the next one goes underneath underneath and the next one goes underneath and pokes up and then you will kind of follow the same idea by following the right here the uh, valley fold right here if you just kind of push it in and then next one is a little twisting way and then from the when you do the first one first set and then you do the second set I mean sec, uh, uh, second line and then before you go to the third line start from the bottom 
start from the bottom just like uh, Steph was showing start from the first rectangle and then press and then next you press and then like uh, she kept saying underneath underneath and then that's the uh, line to follow I'm going off oh no it's this way okay and then you will see the rectangle um, body fold to press and then it kind of collapse and then keep collapsing it yeah you got it stiff you are very good very good so that's a collapse <laughs> And if it doesn't collapse, just do not make the new crease. The, use the, all the pre-creasing. You are not making any new ones. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. So then, then how... I think you are showing it really cool, Steph. Um, here, the opening. It's it's a, like a lit, little mouse, mouse in a yeah. in a very very middle, and then if you go, yeah. Okay, so that's. Uh, I wonder if there's anyone struggling for the collapse. Yeah, let so us we'll know. Go ahead and yeah. go back to the comments section. Yeah. yeah, we were having some trouble centering our hands in the screen. Uh, can you center your hands in the screen? Yeah, yeah. exactly. Sorry about We're that. Sorry, but we got to. It also, about everything about being backwards, um, our editing software has switched um, the orientation because it's on a Mac. So it tries to, like, you look better backwards, like a mirror. So trying to figure out if it's right or left or left or right is kind of it's backwards and uh, Megan uh, were you able to see it now uh, let's do oh, the, on the on the I let's go back no, she was asking yeah uh, here uh, put uh, can you put your hands in the center and uh, am I in the center right now I you hope think? so there you go And the mouse I was talking about runs right here. And it turns in. How was the collapse? Um, I'll be happy to show you uh, from the collapsing. Start from this top corner and use this body fold and mountain fold right here and then next one next one so you put on top of it on top of it Second one is underneath. On top. On top. And on top. And before you go to the third one, upside down and start from the
Now this one's a little bit harder. It's a lot more mathematical. Unlike the one that we did first, um, if you mess up an angle, it's mm -hmm. not that big of a deal. With this one, if you mess up an angle, it, it may not fit together as nicely. So this is gonna take a little bit of practice to make mm -hmm. sure that when you're, when you're fitting it together, that everything stays and everything is the right dimensions. What do you think, Steph? Which one did you like? Oh, I like them both. Yeah, isn't that great? I think they're they're yeah. great. And actually, actually, this one was too big for me. Yeah. As if as a I think as we a can make carry it. around fidget. Yeah. But this one, the one that we made here with this size paper. Yeah. As a two-handed, it's something to fidget with with two hands. This is this is actually a good size. It good fits size. really well on my hand. And I think. We should give it a shot to the six a inches. A smaller one? Yeah. Um, maybe we'll, um, if, if, if people are interested in a smaller version, mm -hmm. maybe we'll um, do a couple smaller ones mm -hmm. and put a, mm -hmm. it would be the same directions, but we can at least um, make a video or mm -hmm. show you next live stream mm -hmm. how it works smaller, if there's any tick, tricks or tips on making a smaller version. Yep. Okay. Well, so then uh, that's about it. How, what do you think? Awesome. All right. All right. So Thank we're, you. it is nine o'clock and our stream is over. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to go ahead and uh, sign off here. Miss Mary is talking with her family on the phone. Yeah, so I, I guess so. we'll just uh, head on and sign off with, uh, without her. So uh, thanks for joining us. Thank and you so much. Thanks to Miss Mary for letting us uh, use her living room. Oh, here she comes. Oh, she's come. <laughs> Thank you, Mary. Good night. Have a good one. Bye, Internet. <laughs>